Hey, whammy. So, um, more good news. An ambulance. No. Um, more good news. We got another 10 millimeter that come out. Now, I got word on this um, like two weeks ago that uh, MNP was coming out with this. I wasn't sure if my information was correct. I was hoping it would be correct, but I wasn't, I wasn't sure. Um, and voila, here it is. So a couple things I want to, I want to clear up, um, specifically for, um, some of my subscribers, um, that are freaking awesome and keeps the channel live. Um, I want to talk to you guys. So, first and foremost, the Smith & Wesson m and is not a competitor of the Springfield XDM. It is a competitor, excuse me, it's not a competitor of the XDM 3.8. It is a competitor of the Glock 20, and it is a competitor of the Springfield XDM 4.5 so the let me just give some information the Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 10 millimeter um, comes in both the 4.5 inch barrel and a 4 inch barrel um, it comes in a it's a full size grip so you don't have an option of a subcompact it is a full size grip um so nowadays more and more people are going to uh concealed carry 10 millimeter this is why the xdm was such a big deal and it's why so many people are flocking to it this gun is flying off the shelves <coughs> the xdm 3.8 10 millimeter uh, excuse me. And it's because people are realizing, oh, wait a minute. How about concealed carrying this? Now, I've been concealed carrying 10 millimeter for 15 years. And so, you know, I, I'm a kind of a pioneer in this thing. I've been doing this for quite a while. And for a long time, all we had was the Glock 29, really, for concealed carry. Now, some guys may do and carry the Glock 20. Um, which is very doable. I carry full-size Glock 17 all the time. So it's doable. Um, but the Glock 29 was much more doable. And so the Smith & Wesson m and is not that. It is not a competitor of, of the subcompact or the super, super compact concealed carry uh, type of thing. You can conceal carry it, uh, just like you can conceal carry a Glock 20. You can conceal carry a full size XDM 4.5, um, but it's not in the realm of the Glock 29 and the XDM. Now, <laughs> let's leave the Glock 29 and the XDM out of this for a minute and go to its actual competitors. It's competing with the Springfield XDM full size. Um, and the Glock 20. Those are its competitors. Now, in the 4.5 inch barrel, we'll start there. In the 4.5 inch barrel, um, the Glock 20 is completely outdated, right? So the Springfield XDM uh, OSP Elite 10 millimeter um, comes in many different configurations. And it comes uh, optic ready, like the m and um, The Glock 20 does not. The Glock 20 doesn't have anything optic ready right now, okay? It's in the dinosaur age right now. And this is why the Smith & Wesson m and and the Springfield XDM Elite 
are kicking ass right now. So, the Smith & Wesson m &P 15 rounds, the XDM um, 10 millimeter Elite OSP 15 rounds. Uh, both have a full size grip. Um, both you can get suppressor height sights. And you can also buy the XDM Elite OSP full size with the um, optic on it, with an optic on it. Um, the m and you cannot, but that is kind of irrelevant to me. That's not even like a, a, a plus for the XDM because who freaking cares? You, you, you know what I mean? Either if you're going to buy the XDM with the, with the sight on there, it's no different than buying the Smith & Wesson M&P and then buying a sight. Like there's, there's no big deal there. So uh, there's no plus for the XDM over the M&P in that category. Um, one place the XDM does have a plus is it has a, a flared magwell for the, the full-size XDM Elite OSB has a flared magwell and it's a removable flared magwell at that. So if you don't like it, you can remove it. That's awesome. So that's a, a part, that's a $80 part you don't have to go buy at the store. So that is a plus for XDM. Um, the Smith & Wesson m and has a better grip, no question. Uh, m and has a nice little stippling type of a, a grip there. And uh, it's functional, like it works, you know. Everyone's got some kind of, you know, stippling on their guns nowadays. But not everybody's works. And the m and works. Um, so that's a bonus for the Smith & Wesson m and the, um, the XDM Elite uh, and the Smith & Wesson m and both have front and rear serrations. Now the Smith & Wesson m and has wider serrations. The, the, we're talking about the Elite OSP version here. It has uh, wider serrations. That is a personal preference. That is not a point up or down either way. I like wider. I didn't know I did until I got it, but once I felt it uh, first on the Walther PDP, and I'm like, oh, I love this. This The wider serrations is just, there's something about it. It just feels like it works better for me. But that's for me. That's not for everybody. So that's not a point for XDM. Um. All right, and then what else do we have here? Um, they, boy, everything else, they seem to be like dead on with, oh, Springfield XDM, uh, you can get, you can get it with um, threaded barrel. That's a huge plus. That's a huge plus, uh, Springfield XDM. 4.5 Elite OSP. Uh, you can get it with a threaded barrel, suppressor height sights, boom, good to go. So that's a huge bonus there. Um, and the trigger. Leo said. Um, Smith & Wesson m and has not had the best record when it comes to their triggers. Now, what blows my mind is they got it right with the shield plus. Like, that's a nice trigger. And yet, when they made this 10 millimeter, they created a whole new trigger. And the trigger kind of sucks, okay? Um, it's not a very good trigger. And even if you are strange and think that it is a nice trigger. It is definitely not better than the XDM Elite trigger, uh, by far. Not, not close. First of all, the XDM three uh, uh, is a whole pound lighter than the Smith and Wesson M&P trigger. Um, 
But not just that, it's just a better trigger, period. Now, like overall, everything, you name it, reset, you get everything. It's a better trigger, it's superior. Now, some people go, oh, well I can get the updated uh, Apex trigger for the Smith & Wesson m &P. Absolutely, you absolutely can. Just as you can get the uh, PRP trigger kit for the Springfield XDM or the uh, Springer Precision uh, kits uh, from Springer Precision for the XDM OSP Elite full size. Now, I have experience with this as I have modified my XDM 3.8 with this trigger kit and let me just tell you it is night and day now the trigger was already a decent trigger it went from a 4.2 pound trigger to now a 3 flat trigger 3.0 flat uh, and it made everything better. Not only is the weight less, but the reset is better. It doesn't have that second click sound anymore. That's gone. Um, the reset's quicker. Um, you know, you you name it. The wall uh, is 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 it's right there. It's quick, and then right after that wall, it's there. It's not. It doesn't have so much traveling to do after the wall. So, when you bring up the trigger and you go, oh, I can just get an epi. That can be done on both guns. So, there's no, you know, there's no cookies there. Because you can get an Apex trigger, you can get an upgraded trigger for the XDM as well. So, XDM wins on the trigger, period. Um... And so, what do you then have then? Like, um, the XDM 4.5 um, Elite has been out for a while. Smith & Wesson m and just came out with this. Uh, oh, the plates. The plates for their uh, uh, red dot sights are like plastic. Um, I don't know why. I know XDMs are metal. Uh, for sure um, so I, I don't understand that one exactly uh, why they're doing that uh, as I've heard there's no proof that like it's a bad thing like there's you know I haven't heard any bad information about it like you know sites coming off or anything so far it's brand new so who knows um but we shall see. Um, what else? Oh, I missed my exit. Um, so really, that's about it. Um, and so with, with, if you add up all those things uh, that I just named, oh, sorry, uh, the XDM is also thinner. <laughs> it's 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 thinner. It's 1.2 compared to 1.3. Okay, so uh, yeah. Um, so there, there there's there's that. So when it comes to the 4.5 inch barrel, I'm giving it to the XDM all day long. No ifs, ands, or buts. Now let's go to the 4 inch barrel. Now, where's the competitor for the 4-inch barrel? And that is the beauty of what Smith & Wesson m and has done. There exists currently, because I, I can tell you what's coming. Uh, Springfield's got something coming. But currently, there is no 4-inch barrel or anything close to 4 inches. Not 4-1, not 4-2, not 3-9. Not 3.8. Uh, there is no um, barrel of that size with the full size grip that's out right now. And so that puts the Smith & Wesson M&P in a class of its own. So 
who's its competitor? Well, if you ask me, DXDM 3.8. Why is that, sir? Well, the Springfield XDM 3.8 Elite has a huge benefit over, in my opinion, over the Smith & Wesson M&P 4-inch barrel. What that is, is the fact that the XDM can basically be transformed into a compact, a subcompact, or a full size. Now, I did the measurements. I checked the measurements. I've got I've got my tool. I just went and bought it actually. And the measurements is is 5.6 inches in height for the Smith & Wesson M&P 15 rounds, the XDM 3.8, when you put a 15 round mag in there with the sleeve, it is a 5.5 height. So it's actually shorter with the same amount of ammo. Not only is it shorter uh, in height, it's shorter in length than the M&P, and it is thinner than the Smith & Wesson M&P. So you got the same capacity as the Smith & Wesson M&P with the XDN 3.8. Yet it has a thinner slot, a, a, a thinner slide, a thinner frame. Um, it's less height. It's shorter, it's smaller, it's more compact, period. And yet has the same uh, amount of ammo. On top of that, it has a match barrel. I forgot to put that part in there with the 4.5 inch XDM. The match barrel. Smith & Wesson M&P does not have a match barrel. Their barrel is still good. Just like the Glock 20's barrel is good. Um, but it is not a match barrel. So, can you get an upgraded barrel for the m and I'm sure that's going to be available, but we're not talking about upgrading the gun. We are talking about factory. And factory... And factory, the um, m and barrel is... Um, inferior to the XDM's match barrel. So with the four inch barrel M&P, um, like I said, there's a competitor of XDM 3.8 in my opinion. If you want a full size grip and a short barrel, you have the XDM 3.8 as an option. And you get the same amount of ammo, less length, thinner profile, shorter, so it's more concealable. Syllable. Um, it's it's just simply more compact in every way and carries the same amount of ammo with the ability to transform from a 15 round mag to a 12 round mag. And that's another thing that I found out that I've been needing to tell you guys. Is this 11 round mag? It's not an 11 round mag. It is a 12 round mag. Springfield XDM. I don't know if they're, I, I don't know. Um, but the mag that comes with the Springfield XDM 3.8 is not an 11 round mag. It is a 12 round mag. So you get 12 rounds in the mag plus one in the pipe, making 13 rounds in a very compact size. Now, they try to compare the M&P four inch barrel to the Glock 19, 
And barrel lengthwise, yes, it is the same, but grip lengthwise, the M&P has a much longer grip than the Glock 19. You would have to compare to the Glock 19X. And in fact, that's when it's identical, like literally. So if you were to get a 19X or a Glock 45, um, and put it next to the Smith & Wesson M&P 10 millimeter 2.0, then you will have measurements that are almost 100% identical. But when it comes to just the Glock 19, no, the Glock 19 has that shorter grip, that that perfect grip length where it's not too long, it's, it's perfect for concealment. So what do you want a 10 millimeter for? Well, look, maybe you are someone who you're absolutely sure you do not want a, you know, compact grip. You're positive, like positive. Then the m &P starts to make a lot more sense in the four inch barrel. It comes with uh, suppressor height sights and the XDM 3.8 does not, okay? Um, the m and does has the inferior trigger, the inferior barrel, but again, if you don't want that small grip at all, like period, then there's a better grip feel on the M&P. You get suppressor height sights from the factory with the M&P. And I don't know after that. Um, there's not, as far as the, the other competition that's out there, it doesn't, blow anything out the water unfortunately um it is another option it beats the glock 20 it, it does that and so when you have the uh 4.5 inch barrel um look it goes like this if you are looking to conceal carry a 10 millimeter then the 3.8 is the way to go flat out like if that if concealment is your thing then the 3.8 there's no question it it it, it beats the m and p but if it is for i don't know woods then you would then want to go to like if it's for hiking woods or maybe duty pistol like work then the 4.5 inch barrel then is what makes the most sense not the four inch barrel and in that case there is the xdm that has suppressor height sights just as well that comes with the option of having a threaded barrel uh, that has a better trigger uh, that has a match grade barrel the m and has a better feeling grip. The stippling or what and whatnot. It has a better feeling grip. Now, grip angle and all that, that's all uh, a matter of opinion. Everyone's different there. So that's not a plus or a minus on either gun. Um, but the, the grip texture, M&P wins. Um, but the XDM Elite full size 4.5 inch barrel has more to offer than the Smith & Wesson M&P 4.5 inch barrel um, all the way around really except for the, the feel of the grip you know um, so my opinion is it's another option um, if you were thinking about getting a Glock 20, there's still reasons to go Glock now. Don't think there isn't. Uh, there's lots of reasons to go Glock still. But at this point, 
personally, I would go Smith and Wesson M&P over Glock. Um, but maybe you just don't like the look of the Springfield, right? If you don't like the look of the Springfield XDM, the M&P just looks better to you. Maybe the looks overpower the other benefits that the XDM provides you. Um, the the better ma the better barrel, which gives you better accuracy, uh, the possibility of a threaded barrel. Um, you don't get plastic plates. Uh, you get a thinner profile. You get the um, flared magwell. Jeez, Louise! Um, it's just it's freaking hard to beat the the XDM unless you just don't like Springfield or you just don't like the look of the gun. And in that case, Smith and Wesson M and P. Um, but Springfield, they came to play. They came to play. They did. So. Um, there's going to be some more tins coming out. This isn't the last ones. And Springfield's also coming out, uh, spoiler alert, with the, uh, for certain people, certain people just prefer to have that full size grip and don't want the compactness at all, for whatever reason. Um, and so they're coming out with the 3.8 full size grip. And I can tell you right now, my my 3.8 holds 16 rounds, not 15. It holds 16 rounds in the mag, plus one in the chamber. The 3.8 XDM Elite OSP. There's some info. It is what it is. You got more options.